Hello, friends, meisters. Welcome back to more Persona 5. Okay, we're good. But yeah, basically, last time we left off, we aced the exams, I like to think. Hopefully, we're going to beat Makoto. We won't know until we see the final results. We also saw Kaneshiro finally come clean, and the Phantom Thieves' reputation skyrocketed from the point it was at. Thirdly, we have a festival waiting for us in Yukata's. You get to see everyone in Yukata's. You get to see Yusuke in there, of course, <laughs> for some reason. Makoto, An, and the rest of the gang. Unfortunately, we don't have one, so they've told us to come without our glasses, which may result in me falling on my face. As you know, people have glasses for a reason, right? They're not just to look cool. Well, maybe they are in Joker's case. Anyways, I don't think we can actually hang out with Sojuro. I don't think you can be trusted just because you've been a good kid for three months, you hear? Well, maybe we can. I'm hoping we can at least go out because I need to get the Aujiri. Last time, the game kind of uh, shut our Aujiri spree down. It wouldn't let me go out on Sunday, so we got cut off. I was very upset. Very upset, I tell you. Let's head over to the underground walkway and partake in Algiri. Algiri, Algiri. Welcome, would you like to try some fresh fruit juice? Or how about the Algiri? Yes, give want? me that Algiri. Vitality? Perfect. Let's get more proficient. That's not quite a color. I would not want to drink that. Chug, 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 chug. Yeah, Joker. That's how you do it. Oh, oh God. I think I'm dying. Good job. Yeah, yeah, easy for you to say. You weren't drinking that stuff. That's worth it. Worth it for that proficiency. Right. Okay, now that you're healthy, let's go somewhere else, meow. Another place I kind of want to go is... Well, yeah, I want to go see her. We can't hang out with the Defcon Biden, despite just getting our charm up, which was awesome. That means I can further Takemi's social link. Gosh, Takemi's such a good character. Uh, now let's head off to the Red Light District, then. Or Crossroads. Remember that being a place. Let's go to the Red Light District in general. Avoid the trolls of Shibuya. Hopefully we don't get caught. Ooh, Mishima's here as well. Mm -hmm, Mishima, I want to hang out with you, but check her personas. I don't think I have a devil. Never mind, I stand corrected. We have the fabulous Incubus. That means we could hang out with Oya. Okay, let's go on in. Sorry, Chako chan isn't here today. Oh, damn it, really? If you keep coming to a place like this, you won't turn out to be a good adult. Or is it that you're interested in working here at night? A lot of different people walk or visit this bar, so maybe working here could broaden your perspective. Wink. I can work here part time. Okay, let's do it. You may not realize it, but you got potential, young man. Mm. I can teach you the basics of how things are run. Don't worry, you won't do anything illegal. <laughs> um, okay, Lala. How are you here for the job? Working at the bar will cause time to pass, but you will receive money, okay? Yeah, fine. Officially, sometimes talking with the regular customers will improve various stats. So, do you want to do some work for me today, sweetie? Uh, yes, let's get to work. Alright, go on and change. Let's see how spiffy we work in our bar outfit. <laughs> we were... Wow. We're dressed the exact same as we are at Sojuro's bar or coffee place. Okay. Let me explain what you'll be doing here, darling. It's your first time, so things might be a little scary. But just try to relax. It's easy work. I'll need you to help with some chores around the bar. Washing dishes, cleaning tables, the like. Hey, we do that at the cafe already. I have to entertain the customers, so I can't do those things myself. That's why you're here now. And then you have it. Explanation for Zeno. Okay. Not really. <laughs> do I need to cross-dress? Oh, no. 
Uh, anything else to be careful of? Let's see. There's just one of me, so sometimes I can't pay attention to all my customers. Would you be on the lookout for those times? I'm sure they'll want to talk to you too. They're all great people, so don't worry. I'm sure it'll be a good experience for you. Do you have any questions? Um. <laughs> okay, I hope we don't need to cross dress. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Are you interested? I can be your producer if that's the case. Um. Well, uh, please don't joke about that. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't want to break any adult entertainment laws, you know. What you're wearing now is fine. Do you have any questions? Uh, there's alcohol here, right? Here under age, right, silly? So please don't touch any of the alcohol. No drinking it, of course. But that also means no serving it either. I'll do that. Don't you worry. Well, I guess I'll have you start immediately then. It's almost time for the customers to arrive, so good luck. Alrighty, I'll try my best. Hey, hey! Hey, imagine if you did have the cross dress for this job, Joker! <laughs> I would have loved to see you all dolled up! Uh, speak oh. for yourself, Morgana. Hey, there's a customer who's all alone. You should go ch check on them. That sounds like a plan then. Alrighty. Hmm. Which customer should I talk to? The woman in the evening dress? The female office worker? The scary looking man. Do it. Mm -hmm. Well, that seems busy. If you're not doing anything more important right now, then you're talking to me. And... This customer is intense! I listened to him till the end without running away. Yep. How is that man so intense? Well, you didn't succumb to the intense vibe he gives off. You've got more cuts than you did before, meow. <laughs> oh, hot diggity, that's what I was hoping for. Scary looking man usually includes guts up. All right. We can't get enough of that. Thanks for the help, sweetie. A miner like you should probably be running home right around now. Oh yeah, you were speaking of Yasutora chan today, right? Yes, he's a scary looking man. I'm surprised he could hold a conversation with him. You really were quite bold. To be able to talk to him, I was impressed by what I saw. Well, here's your pay, sweetie. Keep up the good work. Oh, we will, Lala John. I was hoping to hang out with Oya and we got roped into work in the bar. Ooh. All right. You should be going home. You're still underage. And Shijuku is dangerous at night. Shijuku. I know it said Shinjuku. Wanna head back? We should go home. I'm getting sleepy. But Morgana, Fire Emblem. No, Fire Emblem Joker. Fine. Morgana, you, you know they just released you as a character, right? They did? You won't trick me, Joker. To bed it is. Fine. Can we have the fireworks festival today anyways? Come on. Hey, when we were just about to leave too. Who is it, Meow? Hey, I saw some disturbing news online. It sounds like it'll be really bad if it turns out true. Wait, whoa, whoa, Mishima, what's going on? What's this about? Now it seems like an insane group is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves. What the? Someone's actually declaring war on us? Huh. That is quite surprising, really. Well, it seems like an insane group is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves. I was afraid to just hold on to that information myself, so I wanted to tell you at least. That's actually all I have to say, though. Sorry to bother you on your day off. Oh, don't worry about it. What could he mean by an insane group, Meow? Hey, let's think back. Or let's think about this after we get back. We don't have much time, so let's get going. Okay, Morgana, we'll get going. I know you're excited to see on the Yukata. Damn, it's so hot. The holiday means as means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour, meow. Now for the trains to, or the today's train news. That throws me off. Today's news should just be what it's called. Today's main topics are Firework Festival tonight. Expect roads and transportation to be congested for the whole day. Sun weather changes is imminent. Be careful of sudden shifts to climate from afternoon to night. 
Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Oh, this should be fun. We don't get trampled on the way over there. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Yusuke actually wore one. I doubt Ryuji would, but looks like I was right. I feel like I'm being baked. Like, I thought Yukata were perfect for the summer summer holidays and summer seasons where it's super hot because they're so thin. I feel like I'm being baked, Meow. Those girls are way too late. They must be taking time for them to put on the Yukata. You can't rush a girl, Ryuji. Why aren't you two wearing one? I got clothes like Yukata. Man. You look way too normal in that. People often say that to me. <laughs> oh, by the way, the exams. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Shut up! We we don't know that yet. Well, you know what? Morgana probably isn't wrong, to be honest. Are you going to the fireworks festival? Uh, yes. That's right. Us too! Wanna go together? Are we getting hit on? Yep, and it's all thanks to Yosuke. <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around's a pain, so can we just go with these chicks? Um, mm, that would be very rude, and I think Yosuke would agree with me. No way. We'll both apologize to the others later. Uh, that's that seems like a bad idea. Do you want to anger Queen? That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. Wait, what? <laughs> how could you? Yasuke, did you just school them on how to wear a yukata? <laughs> Why don't you go after them then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Uh, well, uh, no, that, that, that's... You know, Yusuke's such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Not wrong. Definitely more than somebody I know. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. <laughs> hey, we don't know that yet. Oh? Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. All right, Yuji. Everyone just leaves him behind. Poor bro. There comes the rain. What terrible timing. All the men were like, oh, that leg. Hmm, <laughs> she looks important. Ah, we're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how 
crowded it is. Well, yeah, it's a holiday firework festival and it's raining, Ryuji. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? Hmm. I think I just saw someone I know. You did? You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. It's not possible in the real world. Yeah, there's kind of laws of physics and stuff that we have to follow in the real world, Ryuji. My feet hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. We made such a commotion with the public. This is what we get? <sighs> Lame. Oh, Ryuji, shut it. No Phantom Thief talk here. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? That's how it should be. Hero shouldn't need to be commended, Ryuji. I scoff at the idea. So that's what makes us cool? To be honest, I'm not a fan. I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't going to find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. Well, we already know of someone. Or at least I think I do. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. And have a good long nap. I think after all that rain, that's what we should do. So you won't tell me, no matter what. Um. Um. Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. It seems like our resident is here. I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Don't fret and coffee, Dad. Thanks for the drink. Hey, we're not done here yet. What the hell was that about, Sojiro? <laughs> Lover's quarrel? Hmm? No, you moron. Come on, I was just trying to cheer you up. Closing time. Clean up the place. Oh, fine. I'm worried if she was prying into our information. The cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm hmm? These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. Huh. That must be what uh, our buddy Mishima was talking about. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Phantom thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. I see what they did there. Very funny. Change of heart. We steal hearts. Ha ha ha. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details. But there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. Hmm, alrighty then. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. 
Phantom thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? Uh, what's that? I'm the one asking you. Don't return a question with another question. It's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. <gasps> oh, copy that. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. I feel bad for him though. Sai was just freaking grilling the crap out of the guy when we walked in. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. Yes. Going into another world and stealing people's hearts. Parker's declare war on the Phantom Thieves. Who do they think they are? This is starting to get interesting. But why? Did the Phantom Thieves do something to them? That shit is really scary. I'm looking forward to seeing the Phantom Thieves or how they will deal with it. It is kind of interesting. How do you deal with a hacker when you just jump into people's hearts? Wouldn't they be able to cover the information on you a lot easier? But I would at least think that they'd have better gathering or info gathering skills than we would. I have a new message in the Phantom Thieves chat room. Like heck, they could probably even check or track down where Mishima is and then beat the information out of them if they really wanted to. We gotta talk about Mejed. You mean those guys people online are going nuts over? Majed. That name seems to come from one of the obscure gods from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. I saw the news too. For some reason they think we speak of false justice. Now then, what exactly do you want to speak of regarding Majed? Well, why don't we go after them as our next target? What is sudden suggestion? I mean, they're like bad hackers or something, right? Well, technically, they're crackers. Those who use the internet to illegally access and alter data. Majed is an organized group of such people recognized by the larger international community. Do they operate on a global scale, hmm? That makes them even bigger than Kaneshiro. Right? And it's settled. Our next target is going to be Majed. I wonder if the nav will get a hit if we just put Majed in. Oh, right. Um, I wouldn't say it's impossible. We might as well try it out. That would be impossible. It has to be, uh, I don't know. Oh, right. Forgot about that. We don't even know how many people Majed is. Oh. I thought at least we could put in other info. We need the specific person because we're going to a person's heart. I guess the organization doesn't have one. Can we find something in mementos then? Wouldn't we just get at least or when we get at least one in member's info if we try and look into it though? Even if we did. How would we discover their location? The only confirmed presence of Majed has been online. This is a greater problem than simply finding their keywords. Unless you have any more ideas, Ryuji. Hello? It seems he had suggested this without putting much thought into it. Come on, we can't back down now. People are all excited about it. Our reputation's gonna plummet if we don't face this shit. That is true. If we remain silent, people would believe we simply chose to run away from the matter. Majed has taunted us publicly, after all. They are criminals. We cannot just let them be. Yeah. And we don't have any other targets right now either. Hey, Kyoya, let's talk to Mishima tomorrow. This is more of his thing. You're not wrong. Mishima should be a lot of help with that. Uh, I doubt Mishima is part of Majed. Yeah, let's do that. Also, Makoto, try seeing if your sister has any info on him. It's highly unlikely, but sure. Wow. A world-class target, huh? I honestly thought it was going to be the bulb guy that put us in jail at the beginning. If we can change Majed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. Yeah, they're a huge group, not just a single person by the sound of it. Unless I'm wrong, and it's actually just a single person that's a genius. That could be a thing too, you know. Majed first things first. Let's gather intel on the meow. Nice. Looks pretty healthy for now. We don't need to worry about that then. We could hey. probably, you know, no, I was going to see if we can go out, but we're going to say, go the fuck to sleep, Joker. 
an internationally known enemy. But we can figure out a good way to fight back, Meow. Ah, uh, well, let's just go to sleep then. One of these days, we will figure out a way to fight back. Oh, it's just like a catchy said. The thieves got famous. We did. We did quite quick, actually. What? Tell me. Everyone's been talking about Majed. What the hell is it? You don't watch the news much, do you? They're an international network of hacktivists. They target corporations doing shady business and cause chaos. The subway company's server thing, that was Majed, trying to find out who caused the train accident. They're the good guys. Ugh, no way. Some liken them to digital Robin Hoods, but they snoop through emails and destroy data. They're no better than criminals. Ah, so they look down upon in society. But yeah, I can see why some people like them to try and take out shady businesses and that. Majed, those guys that claim to be modern day Robin Hoods? They dare call themselves heroes after taking those or attacking those companies? Pfft. They're fighting Majed next? The Phantom Thieves are amazing, dude. I don't know. I don't want to hear about justice for some shady hackers. I don't care what happens as long as it's interesting. That's a large viewpoint of society. A large amount of people. As long as it's interesting, I'll watch. I won't do anything about it, though. Oh, our grades are out. I better have gotten top. How would you do? Damn, I'm dead. How the hell did I do worse than Ryuji? Hey, look at that. Look who got the top score. I wonder what score I got. I'm top of the glass. That's amazing, Meow. Everyone's going to have their eyes on you now. Then I beat Makoto? I wonder if I beat Makoto. That'd be awesome. Charm up. We're busy. It's not like I can focus on studying and stuff. And it's not my fault my scores suck, right? Um, Ryuji, you admitted to playing video games all night and not studying. It's entirely your fault. You don't gotta throw the truth right in my face like that. Wait. If I don't, then you'll never learn. Anyways, that's something more important here. Mishima. You want me to ask, or you want to ask me something about the internet, right? Yep, I'm going to be straight with you here. Do you know who Majed is? <sighs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Majed and the Phantom Thieves have caused quite the commotion. Let me see. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They're the group I texted Hibari about yesterday. Yep, before the news came out with it. I see. Nobody's really sure who actually belongs to Majed. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves' world debut, no? <laughs> You're not wrong. Dude! Don't worry, I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. Aw, oh, Mishima, we'll see you later, buddy. <sighs> that was fruitless? I wonder if anyone else has got any info. Can't hurt to ask. Yo, group. Mishima's pretty useless. You guys get anything? I tried asking my sister, but it seems as though she didn't know very much about them. He doesn't specialize in cybercrime after all. I tried looking in them too, but I didn't come up with anything. They really are, there really are just no leads. Hmm. Our opponent is truly elusive. <sighs> D Yusuke. Or Yusu Yosuke. No luck. Majed, huh? Man. It seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves, Meow. Yeah, our perusing didn't find us anything. Yep, yep. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. Um, Kawakami, please don't tell me you're leaving. I don't want to sub. We will be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. Damn it! Okay, quiet down. Settle down. We had many strange incidents. This iconic breakdown, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Koboyakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. This is inconvenient for us too, you know? Having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. 
we gonna find Majed? Jesus, Ryuji. <laughs> it's good to be worried about that, but you're a little over worried. I'm not sure. No matter how hard I look online, all I find are just unreliable rumors. They have carried out corporate terrorism, yet they still manage to elude arrest somehow. Kaneshiro was a lot of trouble, but this is turning out to be a much greater ordeal. Do we bite off more than we can chew? I'm not so sure. I'm, I'm sure eventually something will turn up. They'll make some sort of mistake. They have to make a move on us after all, too. Right. There's no knowing who we'll actually be up against if we can't see the full picture. We don't even know whether it's a single individual or a large conglomerate of people. And even if we do manage to get a lead, where do we go from there? Yeah, this stuff really is... This stuff's really not going so good. That's probably why my exams are going to shit, too. <laughs> yeah, blame blame that. Sure, Ryuji. You know those two things are separate, right? Yeah, Ryuji. Just study, damn it. You had plenty of time. <sighs> damn, this stuff's really not going so good. <laughs> There's a Majette, huh? I wonder who she is. It reminds me of the box art, but it has to be another character. If we can't identify who it is, Meow, there's nothing we can do. It what seems you we have make quite a the fashion sense. Ooh, I can't even read that. Give me a second here. I think that was Billy. Thank you so much, Billy, and everyone coming on over from Billy's stream. Welcome. We're playing some Persona 5 today. We're just in the July month after finishing school exams. I can actually double check here in just a minute. No, it was BHS. Never mind. I thought it was Billy. <laughs> Thank you so much. It just the coloring is way off for that notification. Been changing things around lately. But thanks, BHS. I will have a great stream. Thank you so much for stopping by. Alrighty, so what was I doing again? Yes, we're still on the board. Screw you, Akechi. Take that, pancakes. Alright, what does everyone else want to do today? Got plants today? I want to go see Shiho. Right. Forgot Shiho's probably still in the hospital. You think she'd be out by now, but, you know, jumping off a roof is bound to do some damage. Ryuji, or we're gonna increase Yo. our social link with you. Yo, Kyo, yeah, you heading home? Hey. Yo, what do you think about Shran in a bit? I don't know. It says that our bond won't increase with you, Ryuji, oh, so I don't think that's a good idea. Sorry, buddy. Okay, one person we can go see is Doctor Lady. It's been a while though. We have the appropriate persona for Doctor Lady. Oh my gosh, we're ranked seven with her already. Deaf persona, and I don't mean one that can't hear, I mean the persona of deaf. We have Matador. Let's go see Takemi then. Don't pass out, okay? It's been getting hotter, huh? How's your health? Don't forget to stay hydrated. I don't want you collapsing when you take my medicine. So what are you here for today? Um, clinical trial? Oh, the clinical trial. Sorry, I'm gonna pass on it today. Why? Is our charm not high enough? Yes! My overflowing charm melted to Kimmy's stubborn heart. I need to talk to you. And this might be the last time. What? What do you mean? Kimmy, what's going on? What are you gonna do, Joker? Are you gonna go hang out with Takemi? Uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll end up doing. Takemi Chan, we're coming. Coming to hang out with you. Well, we could check the bond. There's really no point. As long as it's going to increase, that's all that matters to me. Please head to the exam room. Come in. Hey. I'm thinking of resigning. What? Several of my suppliers have stated that they're going to stop selling to me. 
If I can't get my hands on medical supplies, I won't be able to get what I need to complete the new medicine. They're probably being pressured by Oyamada to stop doing business with me, so I figure it's over. What? No! You can't let them win! Holy crap. What about, what about me, Wachan? Even more so, are you okay with this? It's fine. I confirmed with the hospital Miwa-chan was being treated at. Oyamata was telling the truth. Miwa-chan was apparently smiling until the very end. She probably didn't want to worry anyone. I wish I could have cured her. I didn't want fame or money. All I wanted was to keep her smiling. Oh. It's terrible. This isn't just about her, though. I was going to help every single person who was suffering from that disease. I was a sickly child when I was young, too. I was already in the hospital, or always in the hospital, and was ra rarely well enough to attend school at all. Medicine was all that kept me alive. That's why I wanted to become a doctor, so I could save people just like I was saved. I mean, that's such a noble goal. But I guess this is where it ends. The medical industry is a business, after all, and the chief decides what's best for it. I'm all out of allies. Oh. Oh, you're not. You can't lose hope. I'm your ally, after all. I see. Yeah. You're right. You might just be my one and only. I really appreciate everything you've done. <laughs> my practice increased thanks to your noisiness. And in the end, I feel like a real doctor again. So thank you. What? No. Takemi. What about your patients? There's, there are plenty of other small town doctors. This is where it ends. Although it frustrates me. I can't do clinical trials anymore, so you can go home. Thanks. Thanks again for all your help, and good luck on those entrance exams. Oh. Is there anything I can do for Takemi? Bye. Mm. We're gonna do it. We're gonna frickin' change that bugger's heart. What's his full name? Tell me right now. What are you trying to do? You mean Oyamata? Why? I hope you're not planning to get revenge for me. Well, it's for my research, let's just say. You're such a weird kid. Don't worry, this weird kid's gonna save your hospital. Your little clinic. His full name is Suichi Oyamata. The very influential chief of staff in the world of medicine. Is that all? I need to do something about the target for Takemi. Bad medicine. I like the name. We're going to show this man who's boss. We're going to change his heart. For Takemi. For a patient. For the good of the world. Okay, take care. For the sake of those legs. Yeah, for the sake of those legs uh, might be a, another valid reason, too. Summer is break soon, right? Must be nice being a student. Honestly, I loved summer break. It was amazing. So I looked into Majed. Did you find anything? As you know, Majed is a god that appears in the Egyptian Book of Dad. Huh? His name apparently means the Smitter. It seems nobody's actually sure that Majed is a real name. On top of that, almost everything else about him is unknown. Even his form is unattainable. An unseen god that flies through the skies and shoots from his eyes. He truly is an elusive being. Dude! Everything about his existence is shrouded in mystery. Wait! Fundamentally speaking, ancient Egyptian art always depicted gods drawn in a side profile. However, Majed is facing straight ahead in all depictions of him. Taking all of this into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. Ah, I see. I hope that information was at least somewhat useful. 
Indeed it was. Should I look into it more? That's enough. Thank you. I did write Yuji one. He's like, wait, whoa, what? <laughs> Everyone just ignores him. So we still don't have any tangible clues. That is unfortunate. So, Jiro, your social link going to increase? Yeah, test before the summer break, right? How were they? Perfect. Oh, you have a good look on your face. You can have this. Okay. Look at your face with it. Dandy mirror. Okay. Look at your face for it. Make sure you clean up for the ladies. You actually are pretty smart, huh? You showed me. Studying is good and all, but men need to keep up their looks, too. Looking clean is important. Oh, Coffee Dad's telling us how to pick up the ladies. Cafe's open for a little while longer. Will you do? I can teach you the ropes. Oh, the bond won't deepen yet. Game. Game. Fine, I guess we'll have to make coffee tonight as well. Which is fine and all. Coffee's fantastic. Yep, we're going to brew some perfect cups. I'm heading home for the day. It's good you've taken a shot into this stuff. See you later, Coffee Dad. We'll see you in the morning. Oh, oh, I love the smell of good coffee. Until he walks in and comes back in. Let me try that coffee. Yes, all right. The way you're drinking it makes it look delicious. As always. Well then. You should get some rest. We have a big day tomorrow, Meow. Oh, we made coffee, but he didn't try our coffee. He didn't try our perfect cup. We should have just hung out with him regardless. That's what we should have done, but we didn't. I didn't save, so I can't scum it either. Back to the velvet room. Our prison. I'm gonna impart more words of wisdom. Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. Yeah. Yeah, we do. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold or quite foolish. Well, we may have 99 problems, but the tests aren't one. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. Yeah, you're not wrong. You mean Majed, right? <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Igor. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. I love Igor and all, but he always likes to drop these little hints. Being of the game, he said some weird stuff too. Every now and then, he does it again. I think there's something a little more than what he's letting on. Justice this, justice that. At least in regards to the Velvet Room, I mean. Especially with all this palace malarkey. Good morning. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. I didn't think Majed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Familia knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. Hey. Yeah, don't underestimate my familia. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained or perhaps inconvenienced? Ah, uh, probably a bit of both. I think most of them are entertained, really. I see. Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. So this is what the public thinks. Whoops, I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. Wait, doesn't he get excused from that since he's a detective whatever it was because he's not doing so hot right now there was like, no excuses you need to be at school now i don't get it there haven't been any news on the phantom thieves versus majed showdown which of them will come on top or come out on top they both they're both just criminals pretending to be heroes you're asking me majed causes way more trouble they attack every company to set their sights on i see well, I just hope something happens soon. But you gotta tell me, who do you think will win? Well, the Phantom Thieves, of course. I'm sure hoping so, random dude. Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. It was? What's it about? I've gotten a lot of messages from an unknown account. Nice to meet you. I am the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a fan of Vive, aren't you? And you really steal hearts? Who is 
Oh, holy crap. Why does oh. he know that you're a phantom thief? Yeah. Also a cat head with teeth. Is he related to you, Morgana? Whatever this is. Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There is someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Majed, correct? I can give you your information on them. The change of heart is successful. If you so desire, you can take care of them as well. If you believe in my skills, you can track down their accounts, just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I've repaired the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? Um, how should I respond? And who is this, huh? I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. What the? You can't reply back? Well, there is a technique to do that, I guess. Uh, similar to ghosting on phones with like fake numbers and that, so you can't call back. Hmm. I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I'm a little freaked out. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Yeah, he's gotta. Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. Mm -hmm. I was worried about Majed doing the same thing. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Oh, it's got to be the girl. The girl that bugged our goddamn coffee shop. Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. Well, no. Cell phone carriers keep those in droves, I would assume. And if I remember correctly, they can even be accessed with proper channels, I guess. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? I guess that'd be a case, too, depending on what it is. IM, interception, anything, really. Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Like I mentioned earlier, I think it's ghosting. Color marketers do that a lot. You'd be surprised. Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait. Might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then, does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high-tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person measured? No. I'm assuming not. I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. If he was Majed, he would have already gotten us, as opposed to just messaging us. That is, only if we take his words for face value. Or, at least I think her words, not his. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. I'm curious on that, actually. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. I would think so as well. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah. True enough. So, somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. 
How about LeBlanc? Oh, LeBlanc's gonna be the Phantom Thieves hangout for a while. God damn it. And none of them know it's bugged. Holy crap. It explains why she, uh, she or he, whoever that person is, knows so much. Mm hmm. What's going on, Sojiro? Oh. <laughs> What's with the big group? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's like, wait a second. <laughs> is something wrong? No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. It was. Did you read it? All right. The store's all yours. What's the other letter? We have late-breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. What? Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. You announced your victory? Ah, do they have something then? We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. It's in English. Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. Oh, for f really now? People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. Just go make a fake email account and your account and go to some random computer and reply to them. What? That's bullshit. Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. Whoa, now that doesn't prove that you're some sort of Robin Hood threatening everybody. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. There's hundreds of people that are liking the Phantom Thieves. Are they now considered evil because of that? A shitty justice. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information. Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? Mm, right, maybe I should read it. No need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. That's the first letter we've actually ever gotten. card what a weird thing for us to get anything else in there who's this from anyway there's no stamp on it someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here could it have been alibaba hmm it must be it has to be i don't majeta has any information on us yet that reminds me he did mention something about preparing the necessary tool don't tell me is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by in case anything comes up. Oh dear. Yatta yatta. All right, is that our orders? I've really started turning the heat up on the forum. I put a special poor stop and everything. The showdown between the just Phantom Thieves and the global organization Majed is here. 
reactions have been great, too. Everyone is really engaged. So far, most of the comments have been pro-Phantom Thieves. Most likely because of what happened in the Kaneshiro case. Those on the other side say Majet are hackers of justice. Despite what they just fucking said. Sorry my language, but I can't see why they'd be considered justice hackers after that. There's nothing res resembling justice in what they do. Someday I want the whole site to be filled with pro-Phantom Thieves comments. There'll always be one naysayer. I'm looking forward to when that day finally arrives. He can look forward to whatever he wants, but we have no means of strike back against Majed right now. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something soon, Meow. You're not wrong, Morgana. You're not wrong. First mm. Alibaba character and now a blank calling card? What the hell's going on? All right, I have dumped coffee into my mon. I'm ready to go for a little longer. Nice. That looks pretty healthy for now. Okay, well, it's good then. We have to prove our justice to society and be cautious of Majed. But we also have to wait for contact from Alibaba as well. Mm -hmm. Every time I think of Alibaba, though, I think of Magi. The show I watched a lot of when it aired. Let's go to sleep for today, Joker. No, I want to do something, Cat. Not do that today. Screw you, cat. I want to play Fire Emblem Fates, at least. Oh, fine. Just five minutes, Joker, and then you have to go to sleep. Otherwise, I'm taking your phone. <sighs> do I have nearly enough intel? All we can do is wait for them to make a move. Yeah, you're right. Let's go to sleep. Maybe sleeping on it will help. Hmm. <laughs> Thursday. Day for charm to overflow at night. That's what we'll be doing. We haven't. Why haven't the fan of thieves said anything? Having your money stolen sounds terrifying. Unsettling, not knowing what they're going to do to us. They're declaring their victory. What does that mean? I really wish they'd stop that. Gosh, this Majed is too pompous and full of themselves. They think that they've won already, despite us not doing anything yet. Hmm? Hey, your Easy. phone's buzzing. I didn't quite catch what class we're in. If we're in, if we're in Kawakami's class, she'll probably let us away with it. Did Alibaba message you? Come on. Uh, it's just right, Yuji. Nothing. That's no ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? Fine, I will, Ray Yuji. You know I will. I'm not about to leave ya hanging, bro. Man. What is it, Ray Yuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? Uh, I doubt it. Nope, it's actually the creepy thing again. Good day. <laughs> Good day to you, too. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. I'm right. I'm right. It has to be one of those ghost numbers, and then it goes out of service. Because, you know, when you try to call back the telemarketers, for example, the same thing happens. The number doesn't actually exist. That or you get somebody else entirely. You're the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? Oh, whatever. Yeah, you're right. Mm, I appreciate your honesty. I take it you received the calling card. Mm. It really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? I'm in class. Mm, you're a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? Steal from who? We need to know a name. What do you mean by that? Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Hey, hey. Tell him. You need the name of the target. What's the target's name? Name? Is your heart thievery truly impossible of such information? Yes. I see. I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. No! Not coffee, Dad! I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. If you fail in this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Who are you? I can't find the account to get a response to. All I get back is an error. Damn it! Real? What if he gonna drop on us and then not talk to us? Sweet friend threatened you and then just took off? And Sakura, I feel like I heard that name before, Meow. Yes. 
you have heard Sakura. So I was thinking of the old man Sakura. Does that mean his relative? Daughter? Something? An ex? An old flame? Huh. In any case, we should let everyone know about this meow. Yeah, we should. It's a bit of a shocker to get. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura? Yep. Why, it's boss's last name! I'm hoping they're not related. Does he have any family? Does he? Let me know of. For reals? How laid back are you? Oh, we're not gonna just pry into the guy's personal life. Like, hey, so do you have a daughter, a family, a kid, old flubber? Like, he's made a few offhand of jokes. He didn't lead us to believe that he had at least a current wife or anyone like that. Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his coffee shop. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. Yeah. Yeah, I would assume as well. I don't think that came directly to us. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. Mm, I do as well. We might have to bite him to death, Ibari would say. You mean this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. A son, a daughter, a wife, an ex? That's what I'm thinking. They have to be if they're related. But they could be entirely different people and just have a coincidentally similar last name, which is Sakura, which is a pretty common name in itself, I would assume. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Indeed, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, my friend. Worried how this might turn out. Hmm? What's up? <laughs> Who's Futaba Sakura? <laughs> I want to meet Futaba. Why did you know about that? Shit. <laughs> Either way, he was gonna get angry, but. It's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Oh, we pissed off coffee, Dad. Well, he knows who that is, at least. Looks like it's a hit. Yep. Oh, I just remembered. Yo, yo, were you about to ask boss about Futaba Sakura? I tried. <laughs> so no results. Could there be a reason as to why that was? Hmm. Alibaba might be our only hope of defeating Majed. I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of Boss. But trying to force it out would probably have the opposite effect. <laughs> yeah, it might get me kicked out of my house. The place that I reside in. To be honest, I owe a great deal to both Boss and Kiyoya. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know just what you mean. It's probably best to wait for Boss to bring the subject up himself. Yeah, that's all we can really do. We put it out there. Maybe he'll just be like, sit down. We need to have a talk, boy. We need to have a talk. This is important stuff right here. Hmm, I guess we can go do things now this evening unless Morgana's gonna eat. Let's go to sleep for today. Screw you, Morgana. Screw you. Mm. Nice. 
That's still healthy, so we don't have to worry about that. I'll do that for today. Can I work out? I'm gonna stuff for tomorrow, Joker. Fine, mm. it's not like we even did anything. All we did was go to school. Mm. First there was Majed, then Alibaba, and now Futaba Sakura. I don't have any information on any of them. What in the world is going on? I wish I knew, Cat. I wish I knew. I couldn't tell you. Even if I wanted to at this point. It's not as simple as pancake, son. Yo. Not for you, Uji. Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can case your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah. What about this Futaba Sakura girl? Is she related to the boss? Think people living nearby would know about her? Wow. wow. Ryuji actually came up with a good idea. That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. <laughs> I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyways, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. No, you're right. It never is that easy, Ryuji. Nothing's ever that simple nor clean. <laughs> huh. Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget. There's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. You better show. There's been an unusual nigh number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't go someplace shitty like the Red Light District, and don't go to the beach after dark. I want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. <sighs> You're a cat. Well, I'm not. Seems like we won't have any, won't be having any fun on our summer vacation for a while. Until we get this Majed business figured out, and this person who is threatening us figured out as well. Mm. Ryuji might be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We've got nothing to lose, Meow. Let's head to Yogan and gather info around the neighborhood. Alright, we'll do just as Ryuji foretold. We'll ask around the neighborhood. The old dude. Futaba! Futaba! Yes, I know that name. I heard it somewhere before. It's the name of my very first love. My teacher back when I was in elementary school. Let's ask some other people too. This little geezer doesn't have any information. Is your cat meowing? Why do you have a cat in your bag? Honey, let's not wear cats for long. Do I have to call Pia? Uh, don't, it's okay. He's a... Ah! Run! Futaba? No, no. I don't know who that could be. Ask some other people too, meow. Alrighty. Now this person's hanging around. What about you? Utaba, who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? Well, hey, I'm a grown boy. If it's just you and him, and you've been eating enough for two, right? You must have quite the appetite. What, you're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's the boss who eats a lot then. That's peculiar. Was Futaba in his house then? Because we're actually... We don't eat that much either. Just a bit of curry. Oh, he's cooking it every day? So he's bringing it home maybe? Mm, things are starting to piece together in my mind. Especially that flashback of the girl on the computer that we saw. Maybe she's actually hiding in his house. Our girl's son single, right? I thought he didn't have any children. Let's ask some other people too. Now, the one guy really did give us a very choice or a tasty piece of information in that case. Huh, oh, a vintage game console. Could I actually sell it if I've ruined some games? I'm not really sure anyone would buy a game console that's this old, though. We can come back here later. We need to get into info on Futaba first. I, I want the game console, Morgana. It might be worth something. And heck, it might be some of my childhood favorites, you know? I don't care, Joker. But I do. Futaba, who's that? I don't think I know anybody by that name. Hmm. But wouldn't this Futaba get angry if they found out you're snooping on them, though? Oh, shit, run! He's not wrong. Snoop, 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 snoop. Oh, the delivery guy has to know something. Futaba? Huh. Nope, don't know anyone like that. I come to Sakura sounds often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. So up until now, our biggest lead seems to be... Boss buys a lot of food, far more than enough for one person living alone. Okay. Yeah, we don't live in his house. I guess a lot of people don't know that. Let's check out all the plate shops where you can buy food, Meow. There's no lights on upstairs either. 
Maybe my initial theory is wrong. Hmm. That's quite peculiar and interesting. All right, so we can try out the shops then. Shop away. Hey. This place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. We might. Hello there, and welcome. Utaba, over at Sakura-san. I haven't heard anything. I'm sorry. Come again. Oh, that was that fruitless. Like it'll work. I can't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. <laughs> so true, there's this guy that's been asking about a Futaba. Ah, shit. You read the letter, did you not? It's our one and only... So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Wakaba? Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Oh my gosh, it wasn't Sai. Somebody else then. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? Whoa, 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 what? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. Come on! He is not a person that would abuse a daughter if he had one. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. <laughs> what a thing to talk about in front of a random stranger. Fine. I yield. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Ah, oh, Sai. I know you're doing your job, but you're such a fucking bitch right now. Right in my language. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm hoping so. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. Seems like it. <sighs> What's with that look? You got something to say? What was all that? This doesn't involve you. Come on, the cat's out of the bag now, Sojiro. Is Futaba your daughter? That's enough. Just behave yourself. Keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Copy that. Don't be like that. The existence of this Futaba is for certain. She may be in some kind of bad situation, though. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? They did. I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. I can't believe Coffee Dad would do that. But I guess it's fair. He did just have a nasty, nasty conversation with Sai, who wasn't being very nice about the whole thing. I'm assuming it might have something do to do with either the Phantom Thieves or Majed. Could it be that this Futaba's daughter is involved with Majed, or could it be that she's just in another situation altogether? That much we don't know. But it does make me think. How can we at least go outside, or is the cat not going to let hey. us? Let's go to sleep for the day. Oh, for you, cat. I guess we'll have to go to sleep then. Mm. I guess we won't find answers just by thinking about it. Let's go to bed, meow. All right, sleep away. A woman was threatening boss? Uh... <laughs> Should we tell her it's her sister? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. 
What's up? Oh my gosh. She's talked about it at home, hasn't she? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I doubt that last part. part. Futaba, or not Futaba. Sakura doesn't seem like the person that would do that. He's a kind-hearted gentleman with a very thick heart. I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? No. No way. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? I've been with the guy for quite a long time now. Take my word on it, I promise. Is it Alibaba? I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help you if you stole her heart. What seems to be the hold up? I also said I'd report you to your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. A selfish person. Right? Well, he does have information on us. Yeah, this person's got the dirt. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. Does she have a palace? <laughs> Just come out and say it, why don't you? Does it? Let's, let's do it. Palace? What are you talking about palaces for? This has nothing to do with this conversation. But you're saying random stuff to dodge the issue. What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Let's meet somewhere. Meet with me? That will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. You can't go out? Can't go out. What? Is it really that girl in the room? And if we assume that girl in the room is Futaba as well, what the fuck is going on? Wait, I get it. You steal people's heart directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. Hold on. I'm thinking. Mm. It's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking for Futaba Sakura. Or if this ever happened, I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now if you'll excuse me. This has to be this Futaba that he's telling us to go for. It has to be. Why else would he call it off? Who are you? I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. We're not done here. Ugh. Yeah, you got the same thing again. I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? Yeah, pretty much. This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Are they one of the same? That's the only thing that makes sense at this point. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Well, that's a very valid concern. We've done it already multiple times. Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. True enough. But I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? That might be presumptuous as of us. We should still watch out for Medjet, I think. You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kanashiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! What'd you do? We got 150,000 yen out of it! Holy crap. That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money. Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. Gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. Hey. Hey, I can tell you that our friend Yosuke here is very partial to that idea. Mm, where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. <laughs> Yosuke, the master glutton himself. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Well, you know, 
The ginger's usually free, so stuff yourself with the ginger and then just eat a single serving of sushi. Master cheapskate. <laughs> I love Yosuke. Sushi's good. I like sushi. Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Mm hmm? Hello? I wonder if all that Majet business was just a prank. Now that I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. And if their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves, they should want they, they should want to be acting now, given our fame. Like I said, they could have at least easily gone to Mishima, I would think. Ah, uh, when you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too. Especially after they taunted us theatrically like that. Yes, however... Would it be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless? For now though, we should cautiously enjoy the sushi that we can all that is that is all we can do. Oh freaking Yosuke. Yeah, something's not right though. I can't shake that feeling. I was thinking that too. I can't really put into words though. Hmm. Yosuke is right. I'm sorry for bringing this up on the day before our celebration party too. Cheer up, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. A real friend from Sanghu, though. <laughs> you mean Ryuji. You better not be thinking about me. You better not. Ryuji, you better not cry. You better not pout. You better not scream our names out. Because then what's happening, I tell you, is that we are fucked. We...